In the desert southwest, dust is everywhere. It's a nuisance, but more so when it becomes airborne. Small dust particles, especially those too small to see, settle in the lungs and can potentially cause health problems. Las Cruces city planners are working to comply with the federal particulate regulations set forth by the Environmental Protection Agency. In particular, construction companies will likely take on more responsibilities for controlling airborne dust as they disturb the land during building projects. Researchers from New Mexico State University have tested dust control applications to determine cost effectiveness and durability over time with weather conditions factored in. So we've got a, uh, uh, a plot about um, several acres and we divide it into um, six different um, areas and we're testing everything from um, a wind fence to um, mulch. We're using pecan mulch from a local, from the pecan areas and then we're testing two different types of polymers and, and then we're also using glycerin and then a, a control area where there, we, we didn't apply anything. And we're measuring the amount of sand that's moving and we've got some instruments out there that, that basically collect the sand over time. In addition to monitoring the plots under natural weather conditions, NMSU researchers use a portable wind tunnel called the Pie Swirl, operated and designed by their colleagues at the Desert Research Institute based in Nevada. With the Pie Swirl, researchers tested the various surface applications by controlling and recording wind speeds and durations. In today's test, we start at about two uh, miles per hour, then we move to uh, 10 miles per hour over a 60 second period, and then we hold the speed at 10 miles per hour for 60 uh, seconds, and then we move to 20 and 30 uh, miles per hour in the same increments. During the test, dust emissions were recorded every second. Tests were conducted in four separate locations throughout each plot. This portable wind tunnel also included a GPS system that allowed for accurate mapping in conjunction with data collection. What we monitor are uh, three or four uh, major things. One is the wind speed that I described uh, earlier, and that's the, the, the white trace that we see that it goes up as, as, as a step function. And then in addition to that, we also monitor the uh, PM10 concentration, and if the concentration of those particles is high, it can be unhealthy to, to humans. We also monitor the movement of sand grades size particles. Those are in the size of 50 to, to 200 microns. So these are much bigger particles. And these particles start moving when the uh, wind speed inside the wind tunnel exceeds the uh, what is called saltation threshold. And then these particles start moving around and their movement results in the higher emissions of the smaller size particles because they impact them on surfaces and, and then you get a high emissions of small size particles. Dust measurements were recorded during three visits to this location during the course of the study. As testing progressed, the team made some valuable observations. From the very cheapest to the most expensive, um, we've noticed some pecan mulch is one of the um, things that is found in this area and it's you know, put that to good use so that uh, we can use it in dust control and that's been uh, one of the very nice things that we come across the study is uh, it can really control the dust because it, it, it's also a nice cover. It's kind of a nice landscaping material. The polymers also have been working very well, and we'll just see how it goes over time to see if how long the polymers will last. The uses of the study are going to be used by the uh, planners and the, um, the actual developers in, in, in this area, giving them some information on other options that they have. So this is how much it's going to cost um, to actually control dust for this amount of time. Like some of the things are, are designed for short term and some of them more for long term, and we're testing both of those out. For more information on air quality along the border, please visit nmborderair.msu.edu. This project is funded by the New Mexico Department of Health Office of Border Health. The proceeding was a production of New Mexico State University.